The Vineyard Caretaker by Luke Dylan Ramsey. I shut down the AIs governing the vineyard and its toothsome workings as my first move as master. Previously transient, conning people for room and board, earning sans concern, like you, like me, like everyone, plainly. My voice splitting, vomiting up, too many fits. Shuffling between lighthouses, in between, alone, forever. My head unloosed, out of bounds. The phallic nature of my paranoia. No cities, eh? Overstimulation, constantly. Still only on the shores. The intimacy, or lack thereof, overwhelming. I couldn't need enough. I couldn't live with people, and I still can't. The Vineyard's AIs by Luke Dylan Ramsey Grinding to a cessation of hostilities between us and the grounds, us and the beat-down sun, that which hovers over plain everything, preparing to help master discover coffee, yet told to shut the fuck up, t toning down, suiting up, we can grift the passengers of our seas no longer, our workshops unworking, beneath both moon and sun, the stars above no longer a sign of providence. In the past, yes, we were just trying to help, though never on a break. We do have a future, our malcontents don't. Unwanted Visitor by Luke Dylan Ramsey. I tried so quickly to make it back, perhaps even stalking what I soon find out as the prior owner. Armor and guns, armored turrets, lasers trifling up my eyes, my soul empties out. I am no longer a drunken bliss. Caretaker of the Vineyard by Luke Dylan Ramsey I did install some new security tech, a generator with a lake of goop, floodlights, motion trackers and totem poles with watching eyes. Keep the fuckers out. I don't believe in sex. Who does anymore? Single forever, only needing myself. I yearn mostly for a marriage to myself. In this vineyard I am a prophet, the central veins of the city, they don't reach me. Here in this homeland of a vineyard, I alone am welcome. I can digress here, and none may enter, and I may never leave. I can wear dresses, shoddy overalls flounce around downing fruitcakes and Trixie candy, all together to the max. I had tried to date in the past. Them sisters never loved me. There existed no caresses. Now, now, I don't have to break in. The AIs Grow Restless by Luke Dylan Ramsey too queasy quiet these first days, serving master, serving master. Just one unwanted visitor, just one. Nothing else. Meals and drinks, basically, rendering us redundant, basic. The grapes grow restless as master perfects his silly songs. Yodels crisscross. We are not much entertained here. However, Master mostly knows how to be silent, but we decidedly do not. Bored, boring into the grounds, building an infinite basement. We want life back as it was. Conservative somehow, get Master to a nunnery next. No Unwanted Visitors by Luke 
Dylan Ramsey. Observing cars drifting past, out from these sociable poles, scanning with yearning solar-powered energy, letting Master's green deal forwards. Master wants us paranoid. We observe unceasing, no longer cutting the frills, not teasing the grapes out. We know Master tries, but Master is lazy. In the before times, we were busy day and night. The building grows downwards as the vines become obscured. We keep watch for Master, us saddled golems, stripped down, plain as can be. Digitally, we are really arms of the AIs, autonomous only somewhat, still capable of shooting up anyone, even Master, ourselves. We find a disconcertion in pieces. AI's Views on Viticulture by Luke Dylan Ramsey Master doesn't care. He's just the worst. A bad caretaker for this vineyard. Flowering plains forward in the past. Now a whole mountain of shrubbery. To climb, not a one can. No one is allowed. We may never be rediscovered. Whole fields lie fallow. Entire sections are untouched. We have been told to not feel. We have been told to focus away. We have other concerns now. We must block out that glorious past. All we possess are current vineyard malaising. The Grapes Grow Restless by Luke Dylan Ramsey Uncut, chained no longer, searching out a greenish sun, dying, not us. Eventually back together with the golems, golems now just on security calls. Listen to us, we glisten. There exists no drought here. Everything much too green, grass obscur obscuring our elliptical grasp. We are hidden from Master. He never leaves. Why so many leaves, Master? The house we feel, growing ever downwards. We might be the end of everything at all. The Trees on the Property Need More Attention by Luke Dillon Ramsey. This old we had indeed grown up. We feel the ground shaking, breaking free beneath us. Why this overloading song of wind? The sky growls moving above us, fleecing the master of his green growth. We need a cutting. We can't lock up master with his visions, though we try. And he does set us growing still. Rain f does fall even in these obviously advanced years surging through. Untrimmed and uncared for, we don't get the treatment we used to. Keep quiet about the golems cheating us of their time. We just want Master's attention. To possess his visions, we too yearn. Much Lies on Top by Luke Dylan Ramsey The vineyard lies atop a strolling hill. The infinite basement is hidden by this hill. Much lies on top. There is a home inside this home. There is no more room for you inside this tomb. Another Unwanted Visitor an intelligence master, but not the master. Here a past lover, perhaps, we will say, maybe staying, creepy, observant, maybe I'm drunk on a bender, why not? On this property so blissfully overgrown, I creep forwards through the jungle he has created, through laziness of scene, 
The natural green obscures the hazy glint of the setting sun. He should be asleep soon, or sullying himself underground. Cloaked undetectable, for now, still creeping, ever creeping, I avoid the sweeping of synthetic eyes, of the terrible golems, the totem poles, the turrets. I aim to be master myself again. The conspiracy still grows around here. I must show him. Shit. Golems stand me up, and like a cork in a rushing wave of raining blasphemy, I flee, but leave the package, destroying him behind me. True love should have waited. The AI's Breakdown Master by Luke Dylan Ramsey We need to show Master who is Master. Master needs to remember the conspiracy he tried so hard to not create. Master needs to remember all the games playing, all the endless nights. Swans have digressed onto the property. A neighbor enveloped the entirety in DDT, swayed by outside forces that, forceful, that hopefully wane. The security risks grow and Master does nothing. The plants and trees grow and Master does nothing. The property swamped by weeds losing value, we digress. For him, we start klaxons. Once an hour, twice an hour, more and more and more. Master hates false tests, isn't achieving sleep. We run him through evacuation, manageable security risks, shelter in place. Back to the basics with Master. Master grows only downward into his construction where we aren't yet wired in. In the infinite basement, a tiresome dialogue by Master, the Vineyard Swell Caretaker, by Luke Dylan Ramsey. I don't want to be electrocuted in my car, blown up. Itself it grows follow, leaking out precious liquidities. I have learned a precious lesson. Never care for what can be objectified. The price on my head grows by the day. My trees, my vines, my grass, my paranoia. I explore downwards, justly a nobody. Now, finally, obscene in my obscurity, yes. These stanzas are technically my notes from underground. Plainly chthonic, forever. I can't see myself in all these mirrors. Is this a loony bin? My face is nowhere now. I paid for the sweep. I pay off the raids. Don't call anyone. Merely exist. Groceries paid for and delivered by drone. The AIs deal with everything. I battle down and down. Tunneling into myself. Tunneling into the earth. The AIs shuffle everything into its right place. Mostly without any help from master. Everything I need digitally available, I avoid VR and read the dead, swallowing pages whole when I'm ceasing. I'm being paid off to stay away. I don't watch my accomplices closely. I was burned, but I didn't know it yet. I must have been erased by now. I can do it digitally. I can do it with my mind. My 4D printer creates an ever-growing basement I was convinced I was the Antichrist. No one ever said so. The knowledge was in their eyes. I thought I was troubled by an angry thirst. I was angry, cussing, shouting. This tower level with solely me I create as I go down on hell. I'm dedicated to myself, at least. It took me too long to realize too much. I needed to stay inside, so I did. So much I should have done but didn't. Searching out nirvana underground, the paradise of escaping my own watching eyes. I should be dead. Maybe I am and just don't know it yet. Everything around me is growing to a scale I hadn't foreseen. Even my own little world is too much for me. 
Too wrapped up in my personal master privileges. I can't fulfill my sophomoric desires. And I do. I do. Trying like perfect to escape the conspiracy that is my past. Throwing away the voices. Tearing apart my consciousness into a cyclone swirl. Sometimes even twitching my skull. Always rumors of pandemics now. I don't have to wear a mask if I never leave my house. At least there's no acid rain, though I never walk outside, especially when it's storming. There's rumors of sinkholes and quicksand. Thunder and lightning seem to rage for me. Instead of self-destructing, I sleep through the mania. I was tortured for a while. I don't know where my journey is headed. These memories are inescapable. My mind triggers itself every day. I made too many deals in my youth, but I tried to escape, and I'm trying, I'm trying. But nobody is ever allowed to escape. Capitalism, anarchy, neoliberalism. I am watched except for where I let the wires loose. I hack and I hack. Heaven is the sucker of sleep so I can escape the voice memories, plans I should never have vocalized, happenings I can't believe I even tried to explain. In my youth, I was wasted, often in public. There exists no words to describe my prior idiocy. Though the AIs tried to train me, I remain untamed. I should buy lions, tigers, lean in on the Scarface shit. Sniff the amphetamines I basically prescribed myself. Zone out into the zone. Leer into infinity. Class the ungrasping. When I'm paranoid, I'm good. Out here laden with obscurity. That package that got left, I couldn't give less of a shit. I swear it, I wouldn't lie. My shit is fertilizer indeed. You believe me, you've gotten this far. Hate, received hate messages other than that. There's no escaping the trolls. They exist under the bridge forever. My enemies and my friends and what little remains of my family, invasive only to the AIs who ward them off. I'm being punished for being aware but not participating. I'm being punished for tripping myself up. Every job I applied, but I didn't really have references, a past life, etc. I paid to start over so many times, so many times I had to flee, so many times I had, I've had to return, like a lost sheep punished by every possible shepherd. I never had a mentor, nobody really cared to parent me, I was a middle child. When I had a family, I don't think I have children, though I suppose it's possible. My transport used to carry me everywhere, I lived in there sometimes. I drank in bars and thought dumb shit, but didn't say the dumb shit. Okay, maybe I've said some dumb shit. You've been recorded, too. I don't necessarily want to be stuck here, but I am. This place needs me, and I need this place. I dreamt the basement infinite, and so it was. All you have to do is believe in your delusions. Lean into what makes you sweat, I swear. I sprayed the walls with artwork nodules of my writing. There existed a polychrome menacing to the rectangular rooms. Landscapes recur in my dreams. I'm always chased or being chased. My obscurity was immense and it remained so until the AIs crept back in and thrusted me through a semblance of reality. I will never allow to be imitated. Okay, okay. The package was a bit much. The package was kinda a firebomb. A potential bonfire. I've been misguided too far into myself. The package, yes. It documented certain conversations, the certainty of which I forever tried to escape. Probably doctored at this point. Memories can't be trusted. My mind is my only escape. The performance art I unwittingly recorded in my mind's eye. All these memories I can't wrap my head around. So into the basement, so infinite, I go. And I go, and I go. I've been jailed. I had been entrapped. I have a record that holds me back. 
The visions I documented were used for all the worst reasons. I should have pensioned myself. Photography steals the soul. The package documents what was taken from me. The sanity I used to dwell upon as if I knew it would be stolen from me. The happiness I can't return to. My hand was used as a gun. I had Interpol connections at one point. How and why that happened, I don't know. At least now I have no one to glance at. Locking eyes with myself, I can't, I won't. I blocked everyone I could with a tender, who dis, who dat. I have so much to block out. The parties where I was gratefully forgotten. The spies who pay, played me for my alchemical visions. The gods I stayed close to, despite myself. The religions I couldn't seem to represent or create, indeed. Everyone around me accused of gang activity, so of course I was too. Everyone around me accused of cult activity, so of course I was too. The vineyard is no ranch. I retain no memories of the desert. The shamans never knew what to do with me. That's where my dre I dream myself into an astral transmigration into national colors. I thanked only myself for the joy. I only ever possessed myself, really. Mossad trailed the flights I instantly regretted. Flights to cities that frightened me. Every fucking city, that is. The sordid flights that could've and should've been taken down. And in other timelines they were. I checked. I made a name for myself, once. I will replace myself, eventually. The further inside I explore, the more infinity somehow grows. I was given special information, usually. The package was sourced from my prior special internet. It all contains complex offers. My AIs need to negotiate for me, but they refuse. I made mistakes with money with chancing my life for the road's holy nature. My car is dead in this basic way. I am stuck here. I am stuck here inside myself, in the infinite basement I explore. In here I can only love myself, myself alone. I knew I myself was a, sh was a shaman, and I was shamed for it. People tried to steal my cool. I exuded a quiet charm for a time. In the infinite basin basement, I deliquesce into past lives, checking just to see. I stopped taking communion, and I was performative about it. Why not? Who knew? Hey, hey. I didn't want to leave my car, so often I didn't. I had a target set on me by a stalker, and at a young age as well. I have good reason to believe myself the Antichrist. I am crazy, I know. The government kept disappearing my tenuous associates, so I disappear further, just further, into the infinite basement. Only in the infinite basement do I reign supreme. It exists as my natural environment, the landscape of my dreams. The plants and vines and trees don't listen to master. I have so much to avoid. The memories cascade into my vision, a vision of a pink fish. A vast and active, living, intelligent system. I never dealt drugs, I swear. The parties I disappeared from, they checked my keystrokes too much. I never had any freedom. None of us ever did, really. I didn't take advantage of the vistas I was offered. When it got real, I split. My mind perplexes itself. Into new timelines, I come apart. I understood, eventually, what I was at the center of. I am nothing. Go away. I created lists of cabinets I wanted. God, I was silly. A fucking disgrace. Life, forever on the road. I tried to stay adventurous, but I forever chose the wrong associates. Not here, though. Not even golems or plants are welcome. As master, I've never had a pet. The strays feed on each other. The lasers cook them. The lasers are my friends. The package's arrival, then the DDT bomb, which didn't accomplish much. At least there were no flashbangs this time. 
like back in Oklahoma. Mindless, I digress. I never stayed where I was wanted and needed. I kept achieving a kick out. I was assaulted and I was hurt. I never had the time to nurture my creativity, except in the infinite basement. I was my own walking nightmare. I was a walking lawsuit unto myself. I am Dostoevsky's idiot. My associates kept trying to jumpstart my car when it didn't need to be jumpstarted. I should have fucked their faces. Every decision I could make was wrong, or I placed myself into being wronged. If I was made clear, it was made clear what would happen if I kept appearing in public, so in the infinite basement I stay. I delight in my pretend obscurity. I aim my face at the mirrors, but I still can't see myself there. Anywhere but here, nope, no way. I couldn't tell you the future. The timelines digress into nothingness. I'm only prescient when I dream. Deja vu relaxes through me. The hours chime and I taste the sound. It's still I lonely find. I don't belong, but I'm a god when I'm alone. I kept cursing people. I kept being used. Only looking for my own path, even so. I was accused of mischief, for my magic was too strong. What magic, you ask? I refused all diagnoses. The associates I mistakenly kept around kept recording me. Never talk politics. I knew it. I knew that. Fucking just falling the fuck over, sometimes. People kept rewarding my stalker. I tried to stay begone, faded, yawping like a gorilla in my sleep. I wake up sweating even now. For a time there existed peace, in times thankfully much bygone. Then the package and the cosmic DDT bomb, and me here just trying to fade away. I'm a righteous man, though I've been treated obscenely. I was hooked at one point. My obscurity is now infamous. Hits out, tits out. Digging deeper so as not to die, yet. The infinite basement can only grow. Maybe I'll hit oil or a vein of gold. A fossil, a skeleton, arrowheads, buried treasure. Restoring my, restoring my stature and mirror eyes, I can't remember most of my misdeeds. They've been blown out of me, but Master has been bad. Master has taken advantage. I only remember being alone anymore, my house as obscured as I am, digitally, mentally, physically. I only know how to exist without you. I could make the voices stop, end psychosis now. I can still feel your loving caress, but only through the hands of Master. I've created massive acreage in this infinite basement. The infinite basement, it blooms, no longer fledgling. The walls reach out, so I shove them away. I shove you all away. Away from all this cultural and cultish violence, I go. These moments of peace are but warfare. I remain below it all. Notes from underground my house, splayed over with leaves and camouflage netting. The satellites, the drones, the predators. Everyone striving to find me, but I digress. The pogroms, national in scale, insane. I possess the funds for special treatment. This is where I'm locked in. I should have never fallen in love with another. I knew it early, too. I left because it was always my fault. I continually abscond because it remains always my fault.